Sports analytics isn't scary. My name is Kenji and I work in sports analytics. I'm happy to contribute to the data is not scary series. One tip I have on working in the sports analytics domain is to accumulate as much subject area knowledge as you can. For those that don't know, sports analytics is simply applying data analysis to the sports domain to seek greater understanding of the game or to help teams win. I often find that I see weird trends in the data. They can be very easily explained through an understanding of the sport at hand. For example, when analyzing a game like basketball, it's plain to see from the data that teams that have more shots usually put up more points, and more points are in turn correlated with more wins. By this logic, a simple conclusion from an outsider would be that teams should just shoot more to win. Unfortunately, this is just a logical fallacy. Just because shots are highly correlated with score, it doesn't mean that more shots is directly correlated to winning. A team taking more shots will lead to more overall possessions, which can cause both teams to put up more points. A basketball fan knows that high quality shots like three pointers and layups lead to positive win outcomes over simply evaluating shot volume. In sports, you also have to communicate your findings effectively to make them actionable. Having domain knowledge makes it easier to get coaches, players, or other team members to trust your output. I think that domain knowledge is definitely applicable to other areas outside of sports as well, but sports is just a shining example of how valuable it can be for saving time and conveying information effectively. I hope that this video makes sports analytics less scary for you.